going to sort of go back in time a little bit. Uh, I call this just like an amazing time capsule. This is the latest release from the Crow Hill Company, the vertical piano. There's, there's some very special things about this piano. I do want to thank, you know, the guys at Crow Hill for sending this over to me. They, they went and found this, um, what they called the victory pianos from, um, from World War II, Steinway and Sons. They created these pianos and they flew them and dropped them out of airplanes onto the battlefields. The backstory, uh, the backstory on this, it just, I'm still, I'm still trying to drink it all in because it, it is, um, it's so compelling. think that we are playing a piano from, um, let's see, okay, so let's do this. <laughs> okay, to think that we're playing a piano from like um, 1940, in the 40s, 1941, and very few of them are surviving, but they are surviving in a sense in a museum case somewhere. recorded this in a studio in Santa Monica. I think it was the remote control studios there and they just surrounded it with so many different types of microphones. The, um, like from modern microphones to vintage microphones. Uh, it's just beautiful. And then the thing is, it's not a really big room. It's like a, a you know, it's, it's very dry. It's a nice dry, medium sized type of room. So they can do all kinds of things with the, um, convolution and the different effects and just to kind of make it uh, make it versatile and this is the default preset we've got four different mic sources this is the classic and then we can just use this little cube here <laughs> and we can dial it out in the room And look at how the, uh, I think the GUI and the, the way they put the uh, artwork together, it just connects you with the instrument so much. Now this is close. somebody will say, man, that doesn't have a lot of attack or whatever. But you know, one of the reasons why is because it's uh, iron strings. They had to use iron strings because of the restrictions on the materials and stuff. And you know, with all of the war stuff going on, that's why it just, it has, you know, it just has that different sound to it. Um, it is, uh, okay, so let's see. Let's just dial it into the middle. And this is without, um, without any additional effects. We've got like four different uh, tabs here. Um, we've got just master settings. We can mess around with the dynamic range and velocity offset. That is one of the things that you always need to dial in uh, because that is what connects you with the instrument.
And what I've done, I went ahead and, and uh, just already pushed my velocity up a little bit because the, uh, the Casio and the SL88 Grand, it tends to live in the very low velocities. And so I kind of bumped that up and uh, Steinway made 5,000 of these, yeah. And can you imagine, <laughs> okay, can you imagine like um, you're looking up in the sky and all of a sudden this parachute comes out and this huge box falls, this huge crate falls and lands right in the middle of where you're in, in the middle of a war. These were, these were literally dropped and with tools and with parts and with a manual on how to tune it, um, it's, it's crazy. Okay, so let's just uh, for fun, and you know, we'll just stick with the uh, we'll just stick with this vertical. Um, I'm going to turn on the tape here, and instantly we've got this. Um, they've done a lot of modeling and things, uh, even with like the velocity layers. They're doing like this. Uh, spectral morphing so it's not like your traditional you know you've got six dynamic layers or 12 dynamic layers and you know with the breaks in them uh, it's just like you've got different waves and different samples and they are being modeled and triggered as uh, in response to how you play it and listen to this yeah it's got that speed up yes Like that tape stop effect. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Okay, yeah, so, and this is kind of fun, and we'll experiment with this a little bit more, but we've got a little sound on sound player. Yeah. <laughs> and then what we can do here, So you can create these fun little tape loop things and just kind of play over them. Uh, so I'm gonna turn that, stop that. And then we can increase the, um, the amount of beats or bars to up to 16. Let's see. Oh, let's see. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Okay, yeah, 16th notes, yeah. So the higher the number, the shorter the uh, time division. So 16th, 16th notes. So these are like whole notes here. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's kind of cool. One, five, six, seven, eight. So that's kind of fun. And then um, we have different speaker models. So this is like going through a headset or an old radio. Let's oh, see. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, let's see. Okay, sing along with me. Well, who's got trouble? We got trouble. How much trouble? Too much trouble. Well, now don't you frown, just knuckle down and knock on wood. <laughs> well, who's unhappy? We're unhappy. How unhappy? Too unhappy. Uh oh, oh, that won't do when you are blue, just knock on wood. It's funny because uh, Brad uh, is actually fixing the floor in the living room. So this is this is kind of appropriate. <laughs> this is kind of appropriate. Yeah, putting that through that old radio just kind of. It's fun. It's, <laughs> Though my hair is curly, 
Oh, and my teeth are pearly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just takes me back into that era. I was looking uh, through so many of the um, of the different the different things that they were doing, and you have to go right back to uh, Casablanca. Let's go through a couple of these uh, presets too. Let's go to the scoring preset and take a listen to that uh, using the classic mic. And then we've got some noises. They they've actually captured like some of the equipment noises of going through different uh, radios and different equipment that is vintage 1940s uh, World War II era. This is the scoring preset. We've got the old radio. something you're taking something so uh, I guess historic and you get into that uh, I, I think that's what makes it so cool and then you pair it with the technology and the effects that we have today and it takes it to somewhere else um, let's just um, go through a few more of these torn tape That's one of the things, I guess, with the newer libraries that, you know, and especially, you know, yeah, they're, they're finding their way with the different pricing and things. I just love being able to show it. I love being able to show you just about anything and, you know, so <laughs> yeah, let's see. And we've got control over the the tape, tape effects and things. We can drive the tape if we want. Control the dropouts and things. Let's see if we can get it to another space here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Replay. This is leaning hard into uh, those tape effects. Mm -hmm. And then we can adjust the effects chain and that kind of thing here. We've got a compressor and some saturation here. There's a lot of ways to shape the tone of the, uh, of the piano. Saturation down just a little bit. 
the simian factor. Yeah, and the, all of these you've got to be, um, and that sounds cool. That sounds like a neat idea, just to have like a, um, a light version. That's so cool. And then the military drab. And I think, uh, okay, so this is what I'm, I'm, I'm looking at here. Okay, yeah, the effects, the effects do change with the presets here. Okay, I was thinking that the presets were persistent, but. Um, And then no more tape. Yeah, so the tape. Oh, For specialized things, I think that's the thing that you've got to, it's got to make sense. Uh, it's got to make sense to you. And that's, that's why, you know, you have all of these things, you have all these things on the channel and it's just like, you know, some things will, will just light you up right away. Uh, but, you know, now this sounds very cool. And then they've got some really. If you're making a World War II movie, this would be perfect for it. Let's see. At the big screen, we did that. Let's see. There it is. <laughs> you got all kinds of crazy saturation stuff going on there. Okay. Compressors. Yeah, we've got that compressor going on here. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so it says...
Yeah, Eric, you're going to find that most software companies they don't they don't do that. I mean, and that is just the majority, the majority, and it's just like the ones that are the exception are. And the, the cool thing about this piano is it's just like, I mean, imagine tuning a um, a piano that has iron strings, and you you got to get it. And so they uh, they brought in a really gifted uh, piano tuner that worked with them on this. And I can't imagine I can't imagine setting the strings and keeping them in tune, and keeping it in tune consistently through uh, like a sampling process like this. Okay, <laughs> rude neighbors. Oh well. Mike's pushed way back out. Let's bring them in. Let's bring them in. That's fun. Okay. Uh oh. effects the fractals in there I think that was a soap opera <laughs> these extra modeled effects it just kind of helps you to to just bring it into oh, young and the restless okay thanks Polly <laughs> yeah you know yeah I never watched young and the restless I think back in the uh, back in the 80s I I was like uh, into general hospital uh, <laughs> okay so okay so what I'm what I've got to do um, I'm gonna pull up the victory and listen to that Listen to all that crazy stuff here. Let's see. I'm just going to let, let me go back to the, uh, just the, just the regular. Let's see. Okay. Okay. We're going to have some little bit of fun here before, before we get out of here. Uh, because all I could think of, all I could think of was like all of the songs that were like uh, popular back in that, um, in that time period. It's just like, what would they sound like um, here? So what I'm going to do. I'm gonna crank the uh, the tempo back up to 160, and uh, let's crank the tempo back up to 160. And I've got my little bebop. I'm still running Groove Agent Three. Believe it or not. Yeah, let's see. And then um, let's see. Let's get back here. the first things that came to my mind. Okay, we're gonna make sure we get this going right. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for this? This is gonna be like a fun ride here. Okay. 
here we go. seemed to understand because the next day the cat went out and drafted a band and now the company jumps as he plays reveille he's the boogie woogie bugle boy of company b he's in the army now playing reveille he's the boogie woogie bugle boy of company b He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of company. <laughs> yeah. Before I get out of here today, uh, I just want to share one more thing. One more thing with you. One more thing. Nice haul. And the thing too about the reverb, you can freeze it. There's so many things hidden inside this. When I was looking at all of the different um, songs that were popular during this piano, when this piano was dropped in the middle of these war zones. Um, I kept coming uh, across one song in particular. And it's a song that is, um, I guess you would consider it more uh, English uh, because it was right at the time when England had just been almost just obliterated 
We in America don't understand, I guess, when your city or your town has just kind of been bombed. I mean, literally just bombed. And it was before we uh, entered into the war. I think the United States had not yet entered into the war, uh, World War II yet. And, uh, well. But this became just like a song of hope, uh, a song of, um, yeah, just something to kind of say, this is not the end. This is, this is not the end. And I guess for me, when I'm playing this piano and, and I know that this, uh, what's, where was this piano during the war? Um, what story does it have to tell? What, what's inside? Uh, to think that the troops, can you imagine playing a piano in the middle of a camp where, where bombs and missiles and things were dropping around you and the piano was like your only connection to maybe sanity at times? Um, There'll be bluebirds over the white cliffs of Dover tomorrow. Just you wait and see. There'll be love and laughter And peace ever after Tomorrow Just when the world is free The shepherd will tend his sheep The valley will bloom again And Jimmy will go to sleep In his own little room again There'll be bluebirds over White cliffs of Dover Tomorrow Just you wait and see Tomorrow Just you wait And see